morning everyone. Today I'm at Birchwall Farm in Wrentham, Massachusetts. I'm doing Wildflowers 101, episode 15. We are looking for Queen Anne's Lace. There's a lot of wind today and pardon any traffic sound. The nickname for Queen Anne's Lace is Wild Carrot, Bird's Nest, Bee's Nest, Bishop's Lace, Devil's Plague, Lace Flower. It was named after the Queen of England who was an expert lace maker. Queen Anne's Lace is in the carrot family. It is a biennial and it is herbaceous and it can be confused with the poisonous hemlock which is a deadly plant. Queen Anne's Lace is a showy flower and it is a regular flower. The color is white. They are flat clusters, umbels, and they are two to five inches across. Each flower has five petals that are eighth inch across. Here's a close look up of the cluster and you can see the individual little flowers. So there is a lot on each cluster. Oftentimes you will see a single dark purplish flower in the center. You can see it right there. It's very, very tiny. Sometimes you can see the little bit of pink on the Queen Anne's Lace when they first are starting to open up. Here is an example of why they call it a bird's nest. They bloom in the summer from June through September. Leaves are compound fern-like and they're also feathery resembling carrots. They are 10 inches long by six inches wide, long stalked near the base, small shorter stalks on the upper plant. Leaflets are divided and alternate. The leaves may be hairy along the veins and on the leaf's edges. The stems are green and stiff with hairy bristles. They grow one to four feet high. The roots are a tap root, which looks like a carrot. The fruit, when the flower cluster matures, it folds up and it creates what looks like a mini bird's nest. This holds the fruit, a ripened seed with stiff hairs and seeds ripened to a purplish green brown color. The entire seed head can detach and be carried away by the wind and will take root wherever it lands. Habitats are open fields, roadside, waste areas, and woodland edges. Queen Anne's Lace prefers part shade to sun and it is drought tolerant. Queen Anne's Lace is invasive and it is non-native to New England. Pollinators are honeybees, ants, wasps, flies, beetles, and some butterflies. I hope you have a chance to get out and find this pretty flower June through September. Even though it's an invasive plant, it's always been one of my favorite flowers. I'll have all the information in the about section with a glossary. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble. Always be kind. Bye guys. See you next time.